Hey everybody, this is Kim Danke, Bishop Bolith, new member, Fast Track instructor, and I am so thankful that you are here with me tonight. I certainly appreciate you taking the time to be here. Um, if you are here and you're a member and you're on Facebook, please take a second to say hello. Let me know how much weight you've lost, where you're from. Give us a few hearts, a few likes, a share, all those wonderful things if you're a member and you are joining us on Facebook. If you are with us in the Zoom room, please take a second. Also, let me know if you have been here this week because you're new, if you wanted a refresh, if you just do this to stay motivated and focused, let me know where you're from and your weight loss, and make sure that you set your chat to the word everyone. In the chat feature, whether you're on your phone or the computer, there'll be an option that says like to, to who, make sure it says everyone. Hey, Annette, glad you're here. And you're new, new as in new today, new this week. We need to get started because that'll help me know what I need to tell you. Hey, April, glad you're here, April. Thank you for being with me all week and on Saturday's accountability meeting. What a way to start. <laughs> Awesome. Lisa is new this week. I feel like I know your name from somewhere though, Lisa. I don't know. <clears throat> it's an unusual name, so I don't feel like I've seen it before, but maybe I have. Um, she's new this week and she's so happy to be here and she's already learned so much. So y'all, I'm an educator. I have um, a master's from UAB, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I've been a school teacher and a principal. So, I mean, at heart, I am an educator. So I absolutely love what um, Lisa said, that she's learned so much already. I consider Shibola the least expensive continuing education class that you're going to have for life, okay? You are going to get so much out of this lifestyle, especially if you like to learn. There's a lot to learn, so much fun things. Hey, Marae Obi, glad you're here. Do you know a Tony Obi? I'm, fr I'm friends with a Tony Obi from my church. I'm glad you're here. And uh, Lands 59, a newbie. Awesome. Hey, Cheryl, just started my forever life this past Monday and feel great. I love what you just said, my forever life. You are starting with the end in mind and you know already that this needs to be forever. So way to go, Cheryl. That's awesome. Oh, okay. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. So I don't know. Maybe that's where I recognize the name from. Annette, I'm new this week, but I have it starting at do. Okay. Still learning. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that you knew Tony. I'm friends with Tony from church. Isn't it unusual to see it to see that somebody knows an OB, another OB? <laughs> Angelina, I mean Angelia, I keep wanting to add an N in there. I'm sure that's not the first time that's happened. Uh, from Western North Carolina. And oh, so you don't know my guy. Okay. Let's see. We got Christine Phillips, Dexter, Missouri, here for a refresh, starting over, learning more every single time. I'm glad you're here, Christine. Hey, Carla from Mississippi. Missed last week on Thursday, so trying to catch up. I totally understand that. Well, awesome. I'm so glad that y'all are all here with me. Now, if you are finding this on Facebook and you're wondering, what's this girl talking about? Shibboleth is basically a weight loss and wellness management system. It's just a way to manage our daily decisions, our weekly decisions, our monthly decisions, and our meal decisions, okay? So what we do is, first of all, you get a membership. A membership currently, they're not always this price, and they're not always a lifetime membership, but currently a membership is $79, and it is a lifetime. You never have to pay again, okay? That's it, a lifetime membership. And... You can get that membership at Shibboleth, S-H-I-B-B-O-L-E-T-H, ShibbolethDeals.com. And it's $79 and you have your membership. Not only do you have the education that you need, thank you, Michelle Harper. Not only do you have the education that you, you, you need, 
You've got all the tools online and tons and tons of support. It is absolutely amazing. You'll be blown away. You'll even wonder like, I need to give them some extra money because I only paid $79 to get here. <laughs> so it's amazing. But you know what? You do that when you, when you see how awesome and amazing it is. Hey, Beth from Woodstock. I was in Woodstock this morning over at a networking meeting in, in downtown Woodstock area. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And one of the things that we focus on teaching you is how to eat in a way that controls insulin. Okay, now on Sunday night, I briefly started going over the categories that all whole foods, the foods that grow on the earth and roam on the earth, and then some boxed and manufactured foods, they go into different categories based on their nutritional profile and also how they break down in your body and they respond in your body. So they, they find their way into a category. And then on Monday night, we went over different lists of foods just to start to familiarize you with what foods go in each category. And then on Tuesday night, we started looking at the food library. Last night, we looked at the recipe library. And tonight, hey, Dawn, glad you're here. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go over void replacements, freebies, extras, snacks, and meal replacements. Now, <clears throat> typically those things don't always fall into a numbered category, but they are still included in eating in a way that controls insulin. Because even though they are packaged and just produced by a manufacturer, they still have the right combination of protein and fat and carbs, and it will work out. And so that's why we can still eat these things, even though they're not a whole food. So we're going to go ahead and look at these uh, different items. And I bought a new one tonight. I have not bought ever bought any Atkins products. And I was standing there I returned a printer at Walmart tonight because it was not working. And <clears throat> and uh, my husband went off to buy uh, light bulbs because the light bulb right up there was off and then a light bulb in our bathroom was, was not working. And so he went off looking for light bulbs and I went up to the return area. Well, I came back and I was waiting on him. And while I was waiting on him, you know how they have these things on these end caps? So I started looking at the things on the end caps. I noticed it was a bunch of Quest stuff. And then I saw this. This is an Atkins product. It's called Atkins Indulge. But what does that look like to y'all? What does this look like? What kind of candy bar does that look like? Anybody want to take a guess at what that looks like to you? Well, it looks like yeah that's right that's right it's coming through now yeah it looks like a payday that's right it looks like a payday and if i had a little chocolate in there it'd look like that cheryl but um it might look like chocolate yes awesome it looks like a payday i like paydays and so i decided to get this one it's a peanut caramel cluster bar so what I did, because I've never purchased this before, I went into my food library right there. And I we have a whole section on Atkins. So I just clicked on Atkins. And then this happens to be the indulge part. So I scrolled down and looked at the indulge ones. And then I found this exact one, peanut caramel cluster. So I knew it was approved. I clicked it to see how I could use it. And one of these is a snack. Now I feel confident that I would remember that bit of information, but look, anytime I buy a new item, I write on it how I use it. One equals a snack. Okay, so just in case I didn't remember or had a moment when I was looking at it, um, yes, Dawn, I can't wait to try them. Now I can't try them today because I've already eaten everything I'm eating for today. So this will have to be a snack for the future. So I've got those, but it's fun to have those little things that remind us of something that we may have liked previously, but those things didn't help us. They hurt us. Well, not somebody out there is going to manufacture something that's similar to those things, but we can use them to help us not hurt us. Um, 
Okay, I will. I'll let you know, Don. I'll let you know. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is we are going to look briefly. I, I've been spending way too much time in this void replacement area. So I'm going to spend a little bit less time there today and move through some of these. Let's see. April says snacks are only allowed on holidays or in maintenance, right? Nope. So April, you could eat in, in a day, in a day, you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and that is preferred. That is preferred. That's it. That's preferred. But you can use things we call freebies. Freebies are not added to meals. They're just things that you use in a moment of mental weakness. But a freebie would have a less impact on you than an extra. And you can have one extra in a day. And an extra would have less impact on you than a snack. But technically, you can have a snack in a day, too. So, April, you actually could have three meals, freebies, an extra, and a snack, all on a perfect Shibboleth day. Now, it's going to be a good Shibboleth perfect day, but it wouldn't be one of the best, okay? Because um, one of the best would be eliminate the, um, hang on, can y'all hang on one second? Okay, I'm back, y'all. It was my daughter, and she's going to hang out with us right there. I can see her face, her beautiful face. Um, and she's she had FaceTimed me twice, and I thought, okay, what's going on? And um, I said, hey, I'm doing the fast track, but you can hang out with me. So here she is right there. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, no, April, as long as the snack is approved, then it will not blow a perfect day. It's actually part of a perfect day, but there are better options, but you can have it and still stay in EFB. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. It's all about staying in efficient fat burning, even if you have to have a snack on a day. Okay, so let's have a look at this void replacement section. We're gonna click here. Void replacements are things that are going to take the place of things you previously liked. So for example, look, several of y'all mentioned Baby Ruth candy bar. Let's click right here on this Baby Ruth candy bar. Look what it says, do not eat it. And then it says, when you're craving a Baby Ruth, a Shibboleth chocolate caramel bar, oh yeah bar, or an Atkins bar. And it, let's see the Atkins one, they have the caramel chocolate nut roll bar. And then they have the Atkins chocolate almond caramel bar. So that's almost like what I bought. And then the Shibboleth protein bars. So there's your options for those. But you would use these as a snack. And let's see, let's see, let's, let's click on this one. The Atkins chocolate almond caramel bar. We click there. This one can be used as a snack or a meal replacement. So one bar can be used as a snack or a light meal replacement. So if you are not a person in the mornings that likes a whole bunch of food, just want a little something, this would be a good option for that. Now in this void replacement area, you can just search right over here. See right here where it says the search bar? And then right below that, it's got some items that were recently added. And then what I would do is I would just come right down through here and just start scanning. And if you just at least scan all these things, you'll see like what's what's a void replacement for butter? What's a void replacement for Cheez-Its? Hey, if, have y'all ever heard that America's Funniest Home videos where the mother gets her little kid from church and she says, what did y'all learn about in church tonight? And the little kid goes, 
we learned about Cheez-Its and the girls and the mama says, you mean Jesus? And the girl goes, no, Cheez-Its because <laughs> it sounds so similar. But anyway, it's funny. So if you like Cheez-Its or Cheeto puffs and Cheetos, all of those things are here. If you like cookie dough or cookies, cookies and milk, cornflakes, crackers, uh, Crisco vegetable oil, you know, we're trying to show you what will work. Um, uh, a Hershey's milk chocolate bar, you just have to look through there and find one. But what I would use in place of that Hershey's milk chocolate bar is a chalk lap bar. And I can show you that in just a second, Angelia. So when you click on these things, like Aunt Jemima pancake syrup, if you click there, it's going to say, do not eat it. And they're going to give you links to all these other options. So this is a really fun thing to look at. Let's say that you have liked Pop-Tarts before. Okay, we click Pop-Tarts, nothing showed up. Let's see, but I know there's gonna some, something that would work. So what I might have to do, since it's not pulling up anything in here per se, oh, there we go. Look, I typed in Pop and it worked. So if I click on Pop-Tart, it says don't eat it. And it gives you the option for legendary foods, tasty pastry, which by the way, I have in my pantry right now and they're very good. And the Rip Van Waffles, which I've never seen before, but I would try. Hey, Michelle, glad you're here. So this is how you kind of look things up um, in there, but I would just scan them and see the things that I typically eat and then just open it up and look and see what they say to eat. So once you kind of know what that void replacement area is, you can just go ahead and ch check that box. Why, why do I like the void replacement area? Because you know what? Sometimes I don't feel like eating a cooked meal. But if I, if I don't eat a cooked meal, but I want something like a candy bar, I can now find options that would be me eating a candy bar and enjoying that experience, but it helped me not hurt me. Um, if I didn't want to eat a cooked meal. So this is kind of fun to know what, what things like that will, will work for you. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is, and once I get over into the food library, I'll look up the chocolate bar, in Angelia, and show you uh, something similar for that milk chocolate bar. It does have some little crispy things in it, so you might have to uh, see if you like it. But on lap three, let me pop back over here. On lap three, do y'all remember that worksheet that I showed you? And I said later on in the week, we were going to be looking up freebies, extra snacks, and meal replacements. See, I want y'all to take this worksheet and play around in that food library and write down seven of each one that you would use. Because it's all about finding the new things that you're going to like for the purposes that we can use it. Um, I don't know why you can't see me, Angelia. I'm still here. Y'all can, let's see. My video is on. Can everybody else see me? Y'all let me know if you can see me. Angelia can't see me for some reason. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, Angelia. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Okay. So right now, um, Mare, Mare, in lap three, in lap three was that um, worksheet, Mary. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to fancy it up with that second A in there. Um, awesome. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Michelle and Jeannie. Okay, okay, I see. We're getting, looks like we're getting it fixed again. I'm not sure what happened. But there's the worksheet right there. It's in lap three, Mary. So we're going to list seven freebies. Now, when I click that, it it's going to take me to the freebies category in the food library. I already have it linked there. Freebies can technically be used as often as you need to use them. Hey, Winona, glad you're here. Um, if you missed two nights, all of the videos are going to be located in lap two, where it says, um, let me go back over there, lap two. So you're in fast track, you click on dashboard to get there, then fast track, and then in lap two, the where it says watch the daily fast track webinars, that's where you can find the ones that you missed, and then just be methodically working your way through those laps. Okay, so we are in the freebies. 
as you can see, you should be familiar with the way this looks now because this is the food library. And if you need these freebies to be gluten free or um, vegan or vegetarian, you're welcome. You're welcome. And you could use those filters. Now, if you'll notice, most freebies are going to have a zero on the weight loss meter because anytime we're giving ourselves extra food in between meals, we're going to mark that as a zero on the weight loss meter because it's not the absolute best for you to do. So this weight loss meter will change based on how you're using the item. So you'll notice that when you read in the description of each of the listed items. But you can see that I have been hearting the things and I heart the things to just keep them in my um, favorites, okay? So I've got zero calorie sweetener, zero to five calorie beverages. It's just kind of nice to know that those things are there um, that you can use. So I've hearted them. And then uh, there's a lot of most of your category two vegetables are freebies. And you might find one of those that has a little bit more negative number on it than, than some of the others. This right here, this AHS chicken bouillon, this is actually, I'm going to click on it because I want you to see, when something has two listings, you do, do you see how this has two listings? It's got, it's a category two fibrous carb. So if you were using this as a category two fibrous carb or with a meal, excuse me, if you're using this in a meal, you're going to call this a category two. But if you were using this in a moment of weakness, then you call it a freebie. That's the only time you call it a freebie. We don't just randomly add freebies to meals because we're still trying to keep our stomach smaller, not stretching it out. Okay. So then there's a couple of recipes right there. I keep these in the pantry though. On those times where I'm feeling like I want something, but a lot of times people like freebies that are sweet. You know, people often have a sweet tooth, but this one would not satisfy a sweet tooth. This one would satisfy more of, I'm looking for something savory. I want to feel like I ate something. I want the taste in my mouth to feel like I ate something uh, savory. You might choose this. And you can find this in our store. You know, anytime you see that little green button there, you can just put it right into your cart in here. Anything you buy in our store, you get 20% off as a member. And yeah, then teal, that'd be good for you. That'd be good for you. You would like that one. Uh, and any order $30 or more ships for free. So that's really nice. <clears throat> So that one you'd want to definitely mark teal because this one, you know, is more savory, salty. Um, it'd be good. And there's five grams of fiber in that, which is great. So that one is one I would put on my list for sure. Um, let's see. I like bell peppers myself as freebies. And they're a negative two, which would be really good. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And you know what's in this right here? Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It's um, a, a tablespoon or two, depending on your taste. And this is also cherry, diet cherry seven up or zero sugar cherry seven up. That's what's in here. And I do that at night. It just kind of gives me something to sip on that I enjoy. And apple cider vinegar helps control blood sugar. And we are all about controlling that blood sugar. So it'll help a little bit. So let's come on down here. Look, carrots. Now carrots, if you eat carrots cooked, they are a category three energy carb. But if you have a little small palmful of berries that are, you know, the raw baby carrots, you can eat those as a freebie if you need to. But remember, we're not trying to eat all day. We're trying to get our body used to having breaks between meals. So just have just enough to satisfy your need at the moment. Yeah, Teal, I love the, I love orange, red, and yellow bell peppers, but I don't like green ones. Isn't that weird? And I could click on that and go a little bit further. There's some chicken bouillon, chicken broth, and chicken stock if you just needed to sip on something like that. There's the, um, some alkaline water, which is good. Now, most C 
seeds, Carly, you're the same. Yeah, most seeds are a category six superfood, but I just saw one right here, celery seeds. So every once in a while, you'll find something that's kind of in a freebie category too. Um, cucumbers, I really like cucumbers as a freebie. So if you happen to be writing any of these down, write that down. Look right there, chocolate extract. There was probably almond extract on there. What that means to you is if you are making, let's say you're making a mighty muffin or something and, and it's not your favorite and you think, what if I add a little extract to it? Um, chocolate extract. It's a freebie. You can add that just to get a little smidge to, to make it taste like you want. Maybe you've got a lemon flavored something and you need something just a little bit more. You can add a lemon extract to that. And like right here, Del Monte green beans, they're a freebie, but I'm not going to be eating green beans at a, as a freebie. That's just not appealing to me to go in there and sit and eat some green beans. So I'm probably never going to eat those as a freebie. I've got those marked because I like them as a category two fibrous carb. Now, egg whites, I don't like scrambled egg whites, but I do like boiled egg whites. So I will boil eggs, throw out the yolk, and then eat the egg whites with a little bit of salt on it. I like that. Let's see, cucumber. One I eat any time of the day. Uh, cucumber. Yeah, you can eat cucumber any time of the day. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, we even have things like, look, food color, and this is, it's, it's a freebie. Um, trying to get down to some other ones. I like this Lancanto monk fruit product. There's, look, Kool-Aid liquid water enhancer and Kool-Aid zero sugar drink mix. You can do that, but here's the thing. It does not take the place of your water. Does not take the place of your water. You always wanna make sure that you get in at least your 64 ounces of clean, clear water before you add something like this to a water. Now, if you needed or wanted something uh, to add to water, you could do a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lemon um, or a little bit of lime, but that, and that wouldn't mess up your water but nothing that's squirty in there. Onions, onions, teal onions are a category three energy carb and must be eaten with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, the same as carrots. To eat an onion though, that onions are definitely not freebies. Onions, if you wanted it as a condiment, you wouldn't want an onion any thicker. Like you can do a thin slice of onion as a condiment, but if you're having a quarter cup or more of onions, you've got to call that an energy carb so that you eat it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, but it's definitely not a freebie because it brings an insulin release because it elevates your blood sugar. And I know a lot of people think, hmm, I would have never known that. Look, there's Mentos, sugar-free gum. So there's all kinds of things. So you just want to look through there and you'll even get down to sugar-free jello. A lot of people use sugar-free jello. So just look through there and have some things at home that you could use that would satisfy those moments until your body gets used to um, giving it four to six hours between meals, okay? So once you've explored and you at least have seven freebies on there, yeah, and you know what? Onion and apple do the exact same thing to you. They do the exact same thing. So yeah, definitely you want to cut back on the onion. And in, in weight loss mode, a quarter of a cup is all I would do. And I would make sure that I had it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, unless you're just doing a thin little slice to maybe dress up a... Um, maybe dress up a little hamburger or chicken sandwich or something like that. Can you cook with onion and not eat it? I use onion for flavor. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't do that. I would want to make sure with Kim Shibola, if you know, um, but I would say that you probably could. Yeah. And teal is that kind of thing that I just told you that a lot of people don't know. And that could be the thing that is a catalyst to change in what's going on with your body. Um, onion, I mean, I wouldn't see why that would be a problem, Lisa. I'm still thinking about that one. Um, 
And I talked to you, I told another lady this because same kind of information. She said, oh, I just eat tomatoes. They're like, I said, tomatoes are an energy carb and they elevate your blood sugar and they are going to, uh, um, your pancreas is going to secrete insulin. And then she mentioned onions too. And I said, well, same thing, you know, so it was really amazing that with just a conversation, we can start to tweak things that are going to help you. Now, once you get to maintenance, you can have up to 12 days in a month where you eat that onion as much as you want to. Um, yeah, no, Lisa, you're right. I don't see why that would be a problem, but there is a group that we have on Facebook called Shibboleth Fixed It. I would just want to ask that question in there and let Kim Shibboleth give us that answer for sure. And if you ask that in there, Lisa, tag me too, because that's a good, I've not heard that question before. And it's a good one. Um, Winona, tomatoes on a salad would need to be a smidge because we call tomatoes on a salad a, um, a condiment, but here's how to get a tomatoes on a salad, Winona. Don't use more than a quarter cup, okay, a quarter cup of tomatoes. Your, your salad base, which is typically lettuce, romaine, or spinach is a category two. If you will do some chicken breast with that, then you're good to go. Because at that point, you would have your lean protein, you would have your fibrous carb with the category three tomatoes. Um, but if you are using just a smidge of tomatoes, then you don't have to call it an energy carb. But if the amount is a quarter cup, you need to make sure that you combine it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So it's really just how much you're going to use of the tomatoes on that salad. So once you've kind of found some freebies, you can check that box. But I forgot to read this little black box here. Freebies are just that. You can eat these items freely whenever you're hungry throughout the day. Most of your whole food category twos are freebies. Check the list and our recipe library. There's actually some a few recipes that have to uh, be in there. And I didn't read this either. Uh, click here to find approved replacements for some of your favorite things to have an avoid to avoid having an unplanned holiday. Okay, now let's read about extras. One extra per day is allowed, but it's not necessarily expedient. So just because something is lawful doesn't mean it mean it's expedient. Um, and just because something is allowed doesn't mean it's required. Keep in mind that it is better, though, to use an extra or a freebie or a snack than to give up a perfect day, okay, in a moment of, we call it mental weakness because we really, really could make it from lunch to dinner. Uh, I, mean, I mean, breakfast to lunch, lunch to dinner, dinner to bedtime. It's often that we don't really want to <laughs> because we're used to having our way. And if you're ever having that battle in your head, it's because you want to have your way at that moment. So you just have to say, what's well, going to be best? Me being a little bit uh, more self-disciplined and get the results I wanted or just to give in like I've been doing and get the results I've been getting. So we have to make that decision. So extras, we're going to click there and have a look at some extras. People ask me all the time, what's an extra? And what I say is, something a little extra because that's about how much it is it's just something a little extra I give the example of walking out of a restaurant and they have the little Andes mints that you could take out of the bowl on the way out it's just a something a little extra or maybe they have a peppermint as you walk out that's something a little extra now peppermint's not approved on Shibboleth unless you eat a sugar-free one but it's, you could have up to one extra in a day. Extras are oftentimes those things that make life just a little bit more fun because Travis is all about meeting people where they are on this journey. And one of my favorite extras is a health-wise hot chocolate. And it just gives me a little chocolate to sip on. It's, um, it's nice and warm and I just like it. A health-wise hot chocolate. Um, but look right here, a quarter cup of Olay Mexican cheese dip. So if you had a quarter cup of Olay Mexican cheese dip and you had some bell peppers with it, which are freebies, you know, I wouldn't overdo it. You're not trying to, you're not trying to fill your stomach. You could 
have a little a little eating episode right there or you know you could have something um and then angie's boom chicka pop sea salt popcorn typically with the popcorn you always want to look never apply a general rule to anything because if you apply a general rule to to the things it might be that a particular popcorn because there's quite a few approved popcorns but depending on the popcorn it might be that one cup's an extra and four is a a snack but I just don't trust overarching rules I look at Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn and I open it up and I use it how that one is meant to be used if later on another popcorn would be there I would look it and make sure just make sure nothing has changed on it so that you can do it the right way um, there's a hummus right there Athena's hummus could be a nice little extra now let's see how much would be an extra. So it's a superfood. It could be used as a condiment and it could be used as an extra. And you'll notice it says see description for details. So we come down right here and it says a quarter of a cup with category two veggies is an extra and two tablespoons would be a condiment. And it also says that you can eat it alone with category two vegetables like broccoli or celery for an extra. It's also a great addition to a wrap or a Mediterranean style wrap. And in this case, you would use it as your condiment. So this would be a six and a two right there. But if this, this reads kind of funny. But anyway, you just have to know that um, this would be a superfood, a condiment and an extra. <clears throat> And if you think you want to mark that, like, I think I might want to try that. If you've never tried it before, then you can heart it and you'll be able to find it easier. So the things that I tend to use for extras, I tend to use that chocolate bar that we talked about earlier. Well, actually, I use that as a snack. Hold on. I use the Choco Right. And sometimes I'll do the chocolate bars, but we'll find it. I'm going to go with the Choco Rites first. We sell these in our store too. I like the peanut butter patty ones, the, and I like the, um, the chocolate pecan clusters. They're really, really good. So let's have a look at this. This is what the box looks like, okay? Do you see how there's two patties sitting there? Two patties come in one package. Well, one patty would be an extra, but you could do up to four patties, which would be two packages as a snack. And let's say that you always like a little piece of chocolate after a meal. You can split that snack up. Um, you could split that snack up, okay? So maybe you have two after lunch and two after dinner. You could do that. Or what I do sometimes is I just open up one and I might eat one while I'm making dinner and that would be an extra. Now, I like to give this as an example though, because you want to know how you're using these things. Sometimes somebody will tell me, I want to eat this and I'm going, well, how are you using it? What are you, are you using it as a meal? Are you wanting to have it as an extra, as a snack? Because you want to use these according to your available items to use. And if I go to Chick-fil-A for lunch, I'll order the diet lemonade. One small diet lemonade is an extra. Well, if I'm in the habit of coming home and eating one of these while cooking dinner or something, I will not do that on a day that I've had an extra um, at lunch, like the, that, that lemonade. The reason that Chick-fil-A lemonade is an extra is because even though it's diet, it's not zero calorie. It's got about 50 calories in it. Okay. Most extras aren't more than 40 calories unless Travis has made a judgment call. Like that Olay, that Olay um, cheese dip is a, was a judgment call. Um, The Healthwise Hot Chocolate, it was a judgment call. 
because it has about 80 calories in there, but they've got about 15 grams of protein in it too. So it's not going to hurt you at all. And even though it's got 80 calories, it can really kind of keep you very satisfied. So every once in a while, you'll see something that is uh, more than 40-ish calories, but that's kind of the typical. And it's not just any random thing you could have. It would still need to be approved as an extra. But this Power Crunch chocolate bar, this reminds me of like a Hershey's bar. I do prefer this dark chocolate one, but they have a milk chocolate one too. And it's a snacks or a meal replacement. Um, now, see how it's got this, it's scored so it breaks into pieces easily. We did do the math on it one day and one sixth of this would be an extra. And we, we just figured that out ourselves. So sometimes I'll just do one of those as an extra right after a meal. Um, white chocolate. So there's actually quite a few things that have white chocolate in there. Um, here's the Atkins white chocolate macadamia nut bar, the chocolate zero no sugar added peanut butter cups, um, epic spreads white chocolate. I really like the nuts and more uh, white chocolate pretzel protein spread. It's delicious. And then here's the peanut butter and company white chocolate wonderful, which is a peanut butter. So um, so there's a few things right there and it's, and you probably can find more. It's just not in the name of the item. It would probably be like an option. For example, if you look up nuts and more where we don't put every single flavor of some of these products in the, in the food library, we have what it's called. And then we tell you any flavor approved or we list out the flavor. So I would go in there and type in that white chocolate. I'd go and heart those so you can try some new things, Teal. So on the extras, you just want to find some extras that you think you might like to use. Now, keep in mind that it's not really the best thing to need to use those, but who doesn't like? Well, you might not like. Most people like to have a little something with their Chick-fil-A meal. And if they like their diet lemonade, then it's an extra. But if you just order Diet Coke or unsweet tea, it's a freebie. It's a freebie. But if you really want that Diet Lemonade, you're making a decision based on the information that you know, and you're sticking within the guidelines. How do you really succeed at this? You stick within the guidelines. What you're learning is you are learning the standards for eating. I basically needed somebody to say to make him, you should not be eating all day long. You should be eating up to three meals a day. And if you have a moment, you can use freebies, an extra or a snack. And the fewer of those that you use, the better. But don't go over that amount because then you're no longer having a perfect day. Well, oh, okay. I loved having some standards, you know, because then I can live within the standards. But if I didn't have any standards, just did willy nilly whatever I wanted to. And most things that people do willy nilly don't go well. Most things that are managed go better than willy nilly. All right, so snacks. One snack per day is allowed, but it's not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed doesn't mean that it's required. Keep in mind though, that it is better to have a snack than give up a perfect day in a moment of mental weakness. It is still counted as a perfect day and you are still in EFB, efficient fat burning. You can find hundreds of approved snacks listed here, and you can have that snack any time of day. People often ask, hey, can I have a snack as a dessert? Well, that's where I would try to just use the extra, because if you've already eaten a meal that fits underneath your hands, your tummy is full. But if you eat just one little patty of chocolate, or one little break off of a chocolate bar of chocolate, then that's not gonna overfill your stomach. But if you go eating a snack, you've just overfilled it. So technically, could you have a snack right after a dinner? Technically you could, but I don't think it's the smartest thing because we are trying to uh, keep our stomachs the right size of a stomach. Okay, snacks, well, let me come down here and look at this. Some of these things that I like as a snack are simple, like this AHS cereal. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Cinnamon crisp cereal. We click there 
And what I like about this is um, this one actually is a superfood, a snack, a perfect pairing item, and a phase one cereal. Got to come down here and look and read how you would use it. One package would be a plus one on the weight loss meter snack. But you know, when I take this as a snack, if I'm going to be riding in the car for some time, and you know how sometimes when we ride in the car, we just want to have something to reach down and do. This is what I take because I know it's not hurting me and it gives me plenty of time to just eat that. This is a cereal that you can eat on its own alone without milk. Most cereals you cannot, but this one works. Let's see, April, if I'm used to eating at 12 and six, but with a small snack around three, should I adjust to start eating breakfast or just muscle through not having the snack? Um, so you're saying that now what you currently do is eat at noon and six with a small snack at, at, at three. You could do that. You could do that. Yeah, I mean, you can still do that. Now, especially do you not like breakfast? Because if you don't like breakfast, there's no reason not to eat breakfast. I think April with that situation that um, you changing up the items that you're eating and making sure everything is portion yeah then you don't have to eat breakfast there'd be no reason to to do that but if you start portion controlling everything and change up the foods eat in a way that controls insulin and you um you know don't eat after six o'clock and and you also are getting all your water in i think you're going to see great results that should be fine what you might want to do is eat Instead of something that's approved as a snack, if you're really just eating something to, to make it between that time, you might want to look at having a freebie. You might want to see some freebies that you like or an extra that you like. Because if it's just the something that gets you through, I would try to pick something that's as uh, small as possible or as le have least calories in it as possible. We don't talk about calories a whole bunch on Shibboleth, but I just wanted to give you that idea so that you can kind of look at those things because it doesn't have to be a snack. It could be an extra or a, or a freebie that works for you. So what we are doing tonight will actually help you with that three, that three o'clock thing. It doesn't have to be snack per se, just be a little something. And three eating episodes is fine in a day. And that's what you'd be doing, three eating episodes. AHS pancakes, man, these are so good. Now I buy these at our store too. AHS stands for Advanced Health Systems. And these are so, so good. And then I will eat them with a little sugar-free syrup. And I have, well, I typically do this as a meal replacement, but one package is a snack. Um, see how that Angie's Boom Chicka Pop sea salt popcorn is listed again? Probably because one cup is um, a extra and more than one would be, yeah, one cup is an extra and four cups is a snack. Would you please take that stuff right there? Because that doesn't need to be down here anymore. And you can throw away those propellers. What are you looking for? The controller. It's on the dresser outside the bathroom. Sorry, y'all. Um, so we have this boom chicka pop and now I just want to tell you all this about popcorn. It is not the best for weight loss. It is not the best. It is allowed. And if you eat this late at night, please don't expect something on, please don't expect a weight loss reduction to show on the scale the, the next morning. Not that you aren't burning fat. You can still be burning fat and not see weight loss go down because two to three grams of carbs, I mean, I mean, water will attach itself to one gram of carb and that stuff weighs something. And so it's going to show up on the scale as weight, but that doesn't mean that you're out of EFB. So you just kind of have to know that over a week's time, it would probably work out just fine. Okay. But what I like to even suggest to people to do is Maybe you don't do popcorn during the their week, but if you want a special, uh, you're, you're having a perfect day on the weekend and you want a little popcorn to make yourself feel special while you're having watching a movie or something, maybe that's when you do that. So anytime I've ever watched Travis do a journal review, 
he's always questioned the popcorn because it's not the best for weight loss. So if you're in weight loss mode, it might be that you say, okay, I'm all, and, you, and you're a popcorn lover, you might say, I'm going to do that once a week or something like that. So you just have to think through those things. And just because that the scale lies, just because you have a, let's say that you're having efficient fat burning days and you're having all perfect days, you've gotten into EFB and you've strung a few together and then the scale pops up by half a pound, don't freak out about it because you can go back to your journal and you can ask yourself, did I eat popcorn? Did I eat bread? What time of day did I eat the bread? Did I have an energy carb? Did I have fruit? You know, you, you can ask yourself those questions. And if you did any of those things, you just have to realize I'm still in efficient fat burning. There's just water attaching itself and holding on to those things and causing me, to, causing a little uptick. But that doesn't mean that you gained fat. All right. There's a big difference. And we just have to be well aware of that. So some of my favorite snacks, though, I really like the Grab the Gold Bar. And I've got to move on to meal replacements, otherwise I won't get to that. But Grab the Gold, if y'all um, want to write that down, Grab the Gold. And if I did two HealthWise Hot Chocolates, then it would be um, a snack. Let's see, what else are my favorites? Oh, HealthWise Chips. That's for, for the salty. When you're ready for that salty, I love the HealthWise chips. You can buy them in our store too. Or the Quest chips, um, Double Bites. Those are all really, really good. And what you could do is you can just go into our store. And that way, that's actually a really great way to see. I can order these things right now, get them to my house and have them for when I need them. So just, just honestly looking around in the, in the store is a great way to find some things. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is meal replacements. These meals are a perfect combination of the fiber, protein, carbs, et cetera, that make up a complete meal. In weight loss mode, it's best to use negative two and negative three meal replacements. If you're new, I kind of went over negative two or I went over the weight loss meter on Tuesday night, but we, it's a secondary way to what I like to say is qualify foods or categorize foods. So we have those numbers, category one through seven, where we, we categorize foods, but meal replacements, it's, it's still a category, right? It's a category. It's just not a numbered category. Condiments is a category, if you think about it. But meal replacements is technically a category. Um, and, but when, right here, do you see where it says weight loss meter? That's just a secondary way to see which items are best for weight loss. The weight loss meter goes from a negative three to a positive three. Right here in the center, zero, not going to help you, not going to hurt you. Negative numbers are better for weight loss. Positive numbers will not bring you out of EFB. You'll still be in EFB, but if you were doing those breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of the week, then you're not going to see the results that you want. But in weight loss, Travis says to stick with negative two, negative three, if you can, for the best results. And some of my favorites are this Bever, if you like a protein shake, this is the best protein shake on the market in Travis's opinion. We are all about preserving our muscles here in Shibboleth. This is the ultimate muscle protein. And two scoops would be um, a meal, but there, look, lots of different ways. Look at all these different ways to use this. I actually use this during the summer and we'll, uh, blend it up with some ice and then go sit outside and eat it like I'm having ice cream, but it's actually just a meal. Um, if I, if I were to do one scoop with one packet of, let's see, I could do one packet of cocoa ringa, uh, one packet of hot chocolate, um, that kind of thing. It tastes like, like a Wendy's frosty. It's really good. And it has all of the essential and non-essential amino acids in it. And most shakes don't have both. And that's why this one he says is the best because um, it's got everything you need in it. So Beverly Ump, how expensive is it? It is, 
like 40 something dollars, but it's huge. It's huge. And I mean, in fact, I don't even use one up in a year because I usually use mine over the summer. I'm still on mine from last year. So I don't use it every single day. I just kind of have it there for when I want to, um, something tastes like ice cream, but it's really big to you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see the ones that I really, really like. Flapjack, Mighty Muffin. Oh boy. If y'all go into the Shibboleth, um, high, I was looking at that. Um, the Shibboleth new member fast track group on Facebook. I have my 10 top favorite meal replacements listed in there, marked as an announcement. But this Mighty Muffin, I also have marked in that group what I ate for my first 20 days. Cindy is asking a great question. She's saying, can you have berries with Beverly Ump? So we do not recommend adding fruit and other things to meal replacements because they are technically a meal all on their own. So we don't suggest that you do that, but berries are the lowest glycemic. And if you were going to add, this is a palm full of berries. And this is the way you do this, Cindy. You can put some berries in your hand and you open up your hand pretty much flat. Whatever remains on there, that's a palm full. We're not doing a handful like this. It's like, what would stay on there? So it's not many. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, because it's just, we're trying to keep y'all safe right now, super safe, because we want, we know that you want results. And, but if you did that, <laughs> what if you have big hands? Um, then I guess you would have to mentally say what would be reasonable. Um, but we don't typically add anything to meal replacements because they are all on their own and we don't want every calorie every little bit of extra calories makes a difference especially depending on what they are berries do happen to be the lowest glycemic um well they are the lowest sugar count teal um on the glycemic index berries apples oranges and grapefruit are the the lowest but then after that you got like a whole bunch of them but you're right about the fact teal that even though everybody's always heard oh fruit's good for you it's still fructose it's still sugar your body still has a blood sugar elevation your pancreas still secretes insulin so your pancreas doesn't say, Ooh, it was fruit. I'm not going to come out because fruit's good for them in other ways. It does come out anyway. And if we eat any fat around that, then we're going to just be collecting fat. Oh, okay. Deb's given us really great information. She says that she uses ump every day, 29 servings in a container, best tasting I've ever had with just water. Awesome, Deb. Thank you. Angelia, if I ate fruit for breakfast, what would be the best to eat? Berries, apples, oranges, or grapefruit. So y'all, I ate about 20 of these in my first 20 days. I mean, it's crazy. They, because they kept me satisfied. They tasted good. They were easy. And while I was learning the lifestyle, I just wanted good, tasty, and easy. And these will do it for you. Um, we must be out of them on our site. And I'm not sure why the little button's not there. But um, normally we sell them here. You can find these sometimes at Walmart and stuff too. But Walmart doesn't carry the variety that we carry. The other thing I really like is... Um, So here's the funny thing, Angelia, about what you just said. So Angelia just said, great, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I have a new saying about that. And y'all listen, it's really important. An apple a day only keeps the doctor away if you don't have extra weight to lose. Because if you've got extra weight to lose, if you're going to eat an apple, it must be with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. Must be. But once you get to maintenance, I can then teach you how an apple a day will keep the doctor away. 
But if you've got extra weight that you want off your body, I wouldn't be doing an apple a day to keep the doctor awake because the extra weight is hurting you more than what an apple is helping you. Um, hope that makes sense. Okay, let's come. I want to I want to do something else. I got just guess what? I've got freedom tonight. If y'all can bear with me for five more minutes, because we're not doing that other webinar. <laughs> so we're going to come right here. Um, I'm actually going to the store and I'm going to show you some things. That I like these things right here. These Shibboleth high protein wafers are absolutely delicious. So my favorite are vanilla and lemon. And I didn't think that I would like the lemon ones because I'm not a big fan of just lemon flavored things, but I just decided to try one. Thank you, Teal. <laughs> um, I just decided to try one. It's so good. I mean, so good. So these Shibboleth high protein wafers are absolutely delicious. I'm only going to talk about my favorites. Um, and I'm not saying that these other things aren't my favorites. It's just that I might not have even tried them yet. These natural protein chips, I love them. They're great. Kays is a great product. And the crunchies are my favorite right there. I really like these protein puffs. They're really good too. Bio Coffee is a product that it's the only alkaline coffee on the market. It does not have caffeine in it either. So that's a, people really like their bio coffee. Here's Carb Quick. If you don't have Carb Quick yet, please go ahead and order some because there's going to be some recipe in the future that you're going to want to know. Uh, you're going to need Carb Quick and it's best to go ahead and have it in the store. Boost Energy Drinks delicious absolutely delicious i like them because they are very light flavored sometimes when you get an energy drink they're kind of heavy and just they kind of weigh you down that is so so good you know what i do with these i take myself a water bottle i'll mix it up and when i go into a restaurant all i do is ask for a glass of ice and then I drink my energy drink while I am eating dinner and I'm having a tasty drink Sometimes I'll get unsweet tea and stuff too, but I really like to take this uh, boost drink in. And it's, they don't just have green tea. They got strawberry lemonade, they've got mixed berry and something else. There's the ump shake right there. This stuff right here, high protein, hot chocolate. Delicious, absolutely delicious. And little man squares. These are so good too. Now, can I just tell you something about this? This is holiday holiday because I cannot stop eating those things they are so good so when I per I purchase those when I'm going on vacation they don't come to my home they go with me on vacation funny thing is on vacation I know that I need to spread them out and I actually eat a little bit I eat them more reasonably there's some high protein jello right there which is really good there's that mighty muffin there's those Choco Rites. TVP is a textured vegetable protein. If you're vegan or vegetarian, this works really good to even make things like a full meatloaf with it. Oh, I've got those in my pantry right now. This is legendary tasty pastry. So if you like to pop tarts before, this is what you would use. This bran crisp bread is very good. It is a appetite control cracker. And they call it a brand crisp bread, but I call it a cracker. Um, Mighty Muffin is cooked in the microwave. Now, there's a lot of people who will mix it up and pour it into their griddle and make pancakes with it. Some will put it in those little mini waffle makers. Um, but microwave is just the instructions on the, takes about a quarter cup of water and microwave it. The natural by anything by K's is delicious. And this brown bread right here um is it gluten-free i think it is deborah but let's do this let's look it up real quick mighty muffin yes it's gluten-free see how it says it right under here so anytime it's marked in a filter, it's going to say it right under there and it's non-genetically modified. Let's see. Deb says, I portion control and make four muffins with Mighty Muffin in my air fryer. Awesome, Deb. That sounds cool. 
The Shibboleth High Protein Brown Bread, it's a bread that's a category one and two. That means there's lean protein in it and a fibrous carb in there. Awesome. It looks like y'all know each other, Deb and Teal. That's awesome. Now, okay, we mentioned, we'll know which days. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be talking about looking up things in, a, in the video library. So if you're looking for, for videos on certain topics, but one, we're going to look up survival kits tomorrow. These are really great as a survival kit. Um, it's shelf stable, microwavable meals. And if you work in an office or something like that, this is the kind of thing just good just to have in the office in case lunch goes awry or something goes weird, you can pull out one of those and, and eat it. Now this hot, the, the high protein hot chocolate, I actually purchased this by the canister. I eat so much of it, I, I do it by the canister. Love hemp flakes. These are so, so good. Now we'll be looking for a video on hemp tomorrow night because I'll let Travis explain that. There's those double bites that I mentioned. Love the price on those, only $1.20. They're so, so good. If you're looking for quantity in peanut butter, you can get this better than peanut butter. You can actually have four tablespoons with a meal of the better than peanut butter and two as a snack. And any other peanut butter is typically two as a meal and one as a snack. So if you're looking for quantity, you'd want to do this one. Oh, there's my favorite um, snack. Grab the gold bar right there. There's that carbonata pasta that we saw last night. And here is fiber gourmet mac and cheese. If y'all are used to using the little craft packets that with the powder cheese on there, nobody will know the difference at your house. And it'll be helping everybody in the house. There's those health-wise protein chips that are delicious. I ate a Power Crunch wafer today. Yes, some of those items are also found out at other uh, grocery stores. I found them at Piggly Wiggly before, and I have found them at Kroger too. There's, okay, this is Egg Whites International. Um, let's see, mac and cheese. Let's look it up, Cindy. I like to look it up because I don't trust myself to remember everything in the food library. And this is I, what I'm showing you is what I do every single time. I don't remember perfectly. So you can use it as a meal replacement or a perfect pairing item. And if you come down here, it says use only Kroger Carb Master or fat-free Fairlife milk to prepare the mac and cheese because on the bag, it says milk. You need to use a Shibboleth approved milk, that one of those. You can have up to a third of the package, which is about a cup, as a very light meal replacement, or you can add a couple of ounces of category one or seven lean protein to make it a heartier, perfect pairing meal. You know, so a suggestion is like taking a 97% fat-free Hebrew National and cut it up. So you can eat it with a category one or a seven or you can eat it by itself. But it doesn't say that you can eat it with a category four protein plus fat. So you just wanna make sure it's a lean meat that you had it with it. And there, that's when you call it a perfect pairing because it doesn't exactly meet the rules, but if you do it just as it's listed, then it would work, it would work. Um, this is, if you are looking for an egg white product, this is a great product to use, especially if you wanted to use egg whites as your liquid base in ump. Okay, see a lot of people will take one scoop of ump and one serving of these egg whites and it makes the shake frothier and it's a lot of protein. So it really holds them for some time. So this product's good. This is the only product that Travis trusts for us to have it as um, um, without cooking. I'm sorry, without cooking. So it's been triple tested for salmonella poison and, and and ultra pasteurized. Okay, so it's gonna be, it would work. That's the one he trusts for that. There's some more peanut butter. There's a white chocolate peanut butter in that grouping. 
There's nuts and more, which is really good. If y'all are looking to do some simple exercising, this stretch a minute, I have it. It's awesome. I love it. It, it beats timing and there's a book that goes with it. There's some videos of me doing this in the uh, video library under the stretch a minute, if you have that. I, I could go on and on about everything in here. The Shibola frozen yogurt mix. I used some of that today in an Oikos triple zero yogurt. So I took one, I don't like yogurt. So somebody told me if you take this yogurt mix, which is called Carbolite, and you put it in there, then you'll like it. And I do. So I put two tablespoons in one yogurt. There's only like four calories even in those two tablespoons. It's amazing. And there's some extra strains of uh, probiotics in there too. So y'all, <laughs> I could just go on and on about this. So the best place to actually look for things is to kind of go in here and just play around. There's the Explore Cuisine pasta. We talked about that pasta too. If you're looking for a very good multivitamin, there's a zero drag vitamins uh, plus probiotic. And you can even look in the, this uh, store by section. So if I just wanted to click on snacks, I could just click on snacks. Yeah, Oikos is a great yogurt, it is. And so there's Benitos listed. If you want some lollipops, there's lollipops. There's those chocolate bars. They've got new packaging now. Oh, okay. Deb says that she tried one scoop of hot chocolate in a raspberry triple zero better than ice cream. Yeah, that would be yummy. Very, very yummy. So we will teach you all kinds of good things to do. If you are constantly accessing and looking at the silver level group, you're going to get a lot of food ideas. These, if you like salty, these high protein crinkles are good. They've got pizza flavored ones and dill pickle ones. I like them both. They're good. So y'all just play around in there and look, if you want some jerky, there's some jerky. Look, you got peanut butter cups. This would be eaten as a meal replacement, or it might give you an option for a snack. See, sometimes think, oh, 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 these things right here. I got to click on this. These things are better than Rice Krispies. I was never even a Rice Krispie treat fan, but these things are delicious, especially this salted toffee pretzel. Oh my goodness. It's so good, but they're all good. It's just that one's my favorite. Then you just add it to the cart. Now, um, members get 20% off. It really is a great program. It is wonderful. Thank you for saying that, Teal. Members get 20% off as a perk of membership. If you're not a member, anybody can shop from Shibboleth website. Um, and just it just wouldn't be 20% off. But I mean, goodness, get a membership. Right now at $79 and you get all the education that you need. You get all the tools, all the resources. I'm live every single night at 730. Even if you do not have a question about what that evening's topic is, I'm always willing to ask, I mean, answer. So let's say that you had a question during the day, but if I don't do it regularly or if I haven't looked at it, I may not know the answer. And that's why I'm going to send you over to the Shibola Fixed It group. The other thing, if you have a question and you want it answered between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., I'm going to share one more thing right here. Do you see this need help button? Need help. If you click there, I can actually start a conversation with, um, with Missy right now. I must say, just showing everyone how awesome you are. Let's make sure she's there. I think it, I think it showed the chat. Hang on. Cause I want to, yep. Looks like she's there. There. See, that's Missy. There's her picture. She says, Hey, and she monitors the chat from 5 PM to 9 PM. And she wrote, yes, I am. <laughs> that's funny. I love it. I wonder if I could pick up now. I was going to try to pick up a funny picture, but We'll just do a smiley face back. Um, but Joni monitors that from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Missy monitors it from 5 to 9. So you can get quick and easy help right there. See, that shows a chat bubble. If it shows an envelope, which at 9 o'clock is going to switch to the envelope, that just means they're not there. You can still send them a message and they'll respond when they get in in the morning. Okay, so it's, it's great. 
But the best place for you to get help quickly and immediately and get multiple opinions and ideas is the Facebook page. Okay, so that's where you're going to find that. Then your second resource is the chat button. And if you want to have a longer conversation, you go to mentor.genbook.com and just schedule a general Q&A uh, mentor appointment. We're going to talk more about that on Saturday night. So we're here to help you in any way. Never let questions go unanswered. We want to answer any questions that you have. Um, and then those are, your, those are your two sources for help. All right, well, we're going to hop off. I'll see y'all in the morning for the Shibby Show and back here tomorrow night to go over um, videos and some other things. So y'all have a great evening.